All right. Thanks, Angela. Well, you know, we're always reminding you to eat your green vegetables, you know, the leafy vegetables. But very seldom do we use uh, the colors red and yellow and <laughs> purple to describe how you should eat. So Joel Detjen is here from Windmill Farms this morning to talk about eating all the colors of the rainbow. You know, am I right? You know, normally, you know, you tell people, oh, you got to get those green leafy vegetables. Mm -hmm. But the other colors actually really are significant. And you can kind of get a good good diet by eating all the colors. Yeah, we tend to focus in on one thing. Whatever comes out, we want to use it a bunch of. But the truth of the matter is we need a variety of a lot of different colors, and that's the trick to all this, because they all have different functions in the body. Now, first off, this morning, we, we teased this segment by saying uh, if you had blue for breakfast, uh, you were doing good. Well, what does that mean? What is blue? Blue has to do Skim with... Skim milk? <laughs> well, blue is more like grapes and eggplant, things of those nature, berries, some of the blueberries. And those, it's kind of funny, but if you look at most cultures, they use colors to, for organ systems. So blue has to do with arteries and heart. Really? Which sounds kind of interesting. The more research we do, the more we find that antioxidants are specific to that region of the body. So very interesting. So there really is uh, some scientific connection yes. to that. All right, kind of just run through the colors for us. And what are we getting from each individual color then? Well, the reds actually work on the, the uh, heart also and the, the bloodstream. So it's the lycopene in the tomatoes? Yes. or prostate gland too, which is a nice addition for us guys. Okay. And believe it or not, you can get more lycopene out of a canned tomatoes than you can actually out of the, the fresh. That's interesting. That's about the only way you can't, I mean, the only exception to the rule. Everything else is pretty much better fresh or lightly steamed. And uh, uh, tomatoes are loaded with C. They have um, B vitamins, they have the lycopene, which we just mentioned, and they have a whole array of beta carotenes or, car or carotenoids in them, which are those, those colors, those pigments, which give it all their, their different colors and varieties. Okay, but now apples are also red, but they, they have different yeah, nutritional aspects? Apples are aspects? huge. They seem to bind on it. The, the fibers in there are very different. They bind on in the intestinal tract of things we don't want in there, which also is going to help the heart. So they do things a lot of indirect ways, so things don't recycle back into the body, into the bloodstream, so it's not reused. The fiber is used, plus there's quercetin in there, which helps with uh, allergies and whatnot. It's one of the very first antihistamines discovered. Okay, now, what about, uh, well, these are some peppers here, some yes. carrots, uh, orange, I'm assuming? Yes, okay. orange is really, really beneficial for the skin. In fact, the more orange we get, the more it will store into the skin. The, the beta carotene that's in there, the carotenoids that are found in there, will convert to vitamin A which don't store in the liver in this case, like you would in an animal product. It stores under the skin to protect us from the effects of the sun and maybe some other toxic food that might have stored under the skin also. All right, Plus now it's our lemon fiber. Okay, our, our lemons, obviously yellow. Our bananas were supposed to be, but yes, uh, we're trying. they're not quite right yet. Okay, but we, we got the idea anyway. Another day or so, they'll be fine. But, but two, two things couldn't be farther apart, the taste of a lemon and the taste of a banana. So is there two something in common there? the world, too. Uh, lemons are one of the best nutrients in there that we know is for a balancing the acidity in the blood. They start out slightly acidic and then it goes basic. It's loaded with minerals. And actually, when the sun hits us, they're always grown in the sun uh, belts of the world. It neutralizes the effects of the sun because the sun's slightly acidic. Now, as we're talking about some of this stuff, in, in order to actually really gain some benefit from it, I mean, a couple of bites of a carrot, I wouldn't think would really do it. I no, mean, probably how much once do you need to eat? Uh, you're supposed to have anywhere between 7 and, and 9 to 15 servings a day to prevent some of the nasty diseases that are out here today. But now when we say a serving, now uh, us Americans, are really, we're all messed up when it comes to serving size. It's usually Because about we're a so cup. used to these gigantic you know, portions that we get at restaurants now. I know. It's mostly about a cup. So it's a lot of fruits and vegetables we're supposed to be eating. A carrot, you should have one to two a day, probably one bell pepper, one banana, uh, one lemon, one tomato. But now if you, if you like iced tea... Mm -hmm. It's easy to get a lemon. Sure is. Squeeze that in there. Uh, if, you, if you eat a little salad, you can easily grate a couple of carrots in into a salad and, and a pepper into a yes. salad. That's, that's actually easy. Same and thing with grapes. tomatoes. And, and the grapes. A handful okay. of grapes will go in a salad real well, too. Now, we've got a purple. Purple, yeah, that's kind of an interesting one. We picked eggplant. It's high in fiber, and believe it or not, it protects the cell membranes of the body. There's some fats in there that protect the, the cell membrane. It's kind of like a basketball covering keeps the air in and, and keeps the pressure right. Well, that's, there's a lot of fiber. How do you normally eat eggplant, that. though? Because to be real honest with you, I like it fried, like in a nice eggplant parmesan. Nothing wrong so with that. That's okay? It's fine. All yeah, right. Oh, eat Chrissy it. just went, nice. That's the Italian speaking back there. Eat it with, make sure you use olive oil with it and use some other spices to decrease the effects of the, the heat. Okay, and then uh, asparagus? You, you brought like $900 worth of asparagus yes, over here. Is there any left uh, over at the store? Yes, there is. We, we ordered another truckload today. Okay, good. There's an old saying about green. Green helps to keep you clean. It all works on the digestive tract. It's kind of a sweeping agent. The chlorophyll that's found in there helps the digestive tract. That keeps the, the bacteria and so forth way, way down. The fiber in there will actually ferment in a way that good bacteria will grow. 
So it's really a good sweeping substance to get in the body as much as possible. Now, a couple of other greens here. Spinach and cilantro. Cilantro is excellent, especially in salsas. It has a detoxifying agent. It seems to bind on to toxic metals and whatnot that can end up in our system. It's loaded with chlorophyll, that other pigment, that other type of substance that will help us to keep our bodies really clean from the inside out. And spinach? Spinach is loaded with B vitamins, a little bit of vitamin K, so it helps the blood to clot the way it should. Almost all of your greens are loaded with K because our, our systems are designed to clot in one area, not clot in another, so it helps to regulate that all through the system. Now, okay. what if I took everything on this table and just threw it in a juicer and blended it all up and, and drank it as a drink? Would I get the benefits from it? You better believe you would. Really? So yes. juicing, you're really a proponent of that? Right? I'm a huge fan of juicing and blending. I like them both. Now, Did blending, you? you say, is good because you get the fiber with you know, it. Yeah, the fiber with it, yes. So either way or both is best. If you can juice one s group of foods together one day and then uh, blend another, you got it made and eat one or two meals a day, and you you're loaded. Your body's about as full of nutrients as it can get. Oh, fantastic. All right, so eat the colors of the rainbow. It's just that simple. Yeah, it makes it easier because sometimes we focus in on one color and one thing that we like, so we got to expand a little bit. All right, very good. Joel, good to see you. Nice to see, see you. See you over at Windmill Farms. You.